Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to use Compressor to compress your video for archiving. So I like to take a lot of videos. Sometimes it's for this show. Sometimes it's for personal use. And I always end up with large high definition video files that I basically want to keep around forever in some form. But they're huge. Like for instance, take this video here that I took on vacation. And if I look at the file size, it's 106 megs. That's only for 21 seconds. I'm going to use that as an example here. But sometimes I have two or three or four minutes worth of video of something. And I don't want to delete it forever, but it ends up being several gigabytes in size. So what I want to do is instead of getting rid of it forever or keeping this very large file, I compromise and I compress the file so it's an acceptable quality but it takes up just a fraction of the space. So to do this I'm going to use an app called Compressor. It's from Apple and it's kind of part of Final Cut Pro but it's a separate app so you don't have to have Final Cut Pro to use it. If you do have Final Cut Pro you can hook into it. and. You just get it from the App Store. It costs 50 bucks currently in the US, which is a little expensive because some compression compression apps are much cheaper. But since I already have this and I'm using it for other things, it's handy to use it for this. So when you run it, it's a little bit of a confusing interface. Um, you've got just some controls here, uh, an area for video. It's not really obvious what to do. You start off by showing the left sidebar here, which gives you all of these preset settings. So we're going to create a new one that's going to be for compressing video. And I'm going to use the format of H.264 which is a good compression. So I'm going to do call, call this archiving. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I've got it there to customize it. I With it selected I hit the settings over here. And now I have general settings, video, and audio. I'm going to leave audio the same but you can play around with the audio settings if you want. And I'm going to look here and see and for this. Uh, well, okay, so this is 1080p video, but I'm going. I want it to be a smaller file size, so I'm going to OK with pressing it to 720p. And I'm going to keep the bitrate automatic. And then I'm going to use best quality because I don't really care about it playing on lots of different devices, and I don't really care how long it takes to compress now because I want to end up with the best quality that I can in the smallest file size. And there are other things here that you could set for best for everything. And now that I've customized all of this, I'm ready to go and compress this video. So that's mostly a drag and drop process. I'm going to drag this video from the finder here. Then I'm going to drag the settings here. And now it sets up everything that I need and I can hit start batch. The cool thing about this is that I can actually put a lot of videos, pile them all into here, drag this setting over and then batch compress a whole bunch of videos which is great because that's usually what I'm doing. Say I'll look at a, a bunch of videos from a vacation several years ago and I'll batch compress this them all at once. So I'll hit start batch and it will start and give me some progress here. So now it's done. It took a little over two minutes to compress. So let's take a look at these files. This is the original. It's 106 megs. This one is the compressed. You can see it's 19 megs. Now whenever you're doing something like this, archiving things, you want to really check it. So here's the original and I'll look at the quality of the original and then I'll go here and look at the quality of the compressed one. And if it looks good to me, if it looks like this is worthy of me keeping, then I can get rid of this one and save so much space. And imagine if there were a whole bunch of these and they were even larger files. Now if you want you can go back and adjust your settings. So in here uh, under video for instance, say if I want to try to bring it down even more I could turn the bit rate down so instead of automatic I can say go to you know 3000 kilobits per second and see what it looks like when I when I push it like that. I've tried this with that video and it was even half that size so it was less than 10 megs when I did that. Um, and I could play with say well what if I compressed it at the full frame rate, uh, the full frame size. Um, try that. Try a bunch of different things, different settings and see what I like. It's always good to do that with some sample video just before you archive a whole bunch of video just to make sure that you're getting the quality that you want considering that you're going to probably delete the original forever and keep this one around as the archived copy. So using this technique uh, I've saved a lot of hard drive space and been able to keep some videos that I otherwise may not have been able to keep around.